With the Cybertruck finally hitting the market, many people have been forced to come to terms with their feelings about the truck. Even Elon Musk knew it was going to either be hated or liked strongly, but while Tesla struggles to fulfill orders for the monster truck, it is already working on the next version. What will version 2 of the futuristic truck look like? Will Tesla go for another out-of-this-world design, and will the updated version achieve the same hype as the first version? Stay tuned as we bring you everything you need to know about the Tesla Cybertruck 2.0. Makeovers are important, especially when you have a long list of disappointed customers uploading proof of every defect online, and an even longer list of competitors eyeing your every move. When the Cybertruck was first launched as a concept vehicle in late 2019, it instantly became the talk of the town, and that had a lot to do with its out-of-this-world design and specifications. Every media house was talking about the strange battery-powered truck that Musk had designed. Tesla Cybertruck. 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 Cyber Cybertruck. 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 What you may not know, however, is that this EV pickup truck was conceived by Musk long before 2019. Seven years before launching the truck, Musk, while addressing a public gathering, said that he imagined a Tesla super truck with a crazy torque, dynamic air suspension, and corners like it's on rails. The eccentric CEO would mention the idea multiple times over the years, giving his fans something to imagine and look forward to. However, nobody would imagine Musk would be bold enough to try to sell a pickup truck that looked like an armored rover from outer space. The question many industry experts asked was if the unusual design would not turn people off the truck, but there is no doubt this question has been answered adequately by the enormous hype surrounding the truck and the millions of pre-orders it gathered even before Tesla started producing them. And even the delay was not enough to make people stop loving this beast of a truck. While the customers eagerly waited for their first Cybertruck, which was supposed to be delivered in 2021, the delivery took more than two years to start. In fact, the truck entered production only in 2023, and the first Cybertruck was delivered in late 2023. Now, when the concept Cybertruck was first launched in November of 2019, Tesla made a number of mind-boggling claims. People that monitor the truck closely will remember the tagline used by Tesla, built for any planet, suggesting the truck would one day be used on Mars. Remember, Musk has the personal ambition to send people to Mars to live there permanently, so Tesla suggested the Cybertruck could be a means of transportation on the Red Planet. And Tesla claims that their Cybertruck is so durable and rugged that it can go practically anywhere. With an electronic adaptive air suspension, Tesla says that it can tackle anything exactly what off-roading enthusiasts want to hear. However, despite how rugged and tough it is on the outside, be sure to experience the same level of comfort and luxury inside. Unlike conventional pickup trucks, this one is spacious, modern, and offers you advanced technology features and entertainment. And there is one other popular thing that was talked about a lot, the shatter-resistant glass. Equipped with armor glass, Tesla claims the windows can resist the impact of Class 4 hail or a baseball coming in at 70 miles per hour, so you don't have to worry about the neighborhood kids playing too close to your vehicle and breaking the glass. Now, let us suppose that you own a Cybertruck and somehow it ends up in a collision. One thing is for sure, the other car will be more damaged than yours. With an ultra-hard stainless steel exterior, you are safe from minor dents, damage, and long-term corrosion. And if it ever does come to repairs, they are guaranteed by the company to be simple and quick. But of course, you won't want it to ever come to that. And then there is the part that makes the Cybertruck a pickup, the pickup part. With a 2,500-pound payload and 11,000 pounds towing capacity, which is equivalent to that of a typical African elephant, you'll be prepared for some serious work. And you don't even need a liner for your composite bed. Simply load and carry away your loads, even if they're construction materials weighing as heavy as 2,500 pounds. You can even use the bed, the front truck, and the roof for extra storage. And then there is another feature that EV buyers care deeply about driving range. With all these features, if the driving range is too short, a lot of buyers will stay off, but Tesla has got that covered as well. The company claims that you can travel up to 340 miles on a single charge, and with just 15 minutes of supercharging, you can recover up to 136 miles of range. Talk about being an all-rounder. However, things have not gone smoothly for the Cybertruck since Tesla started delivery in 2023. In fact, Tesla has recalled the Cybertruck four times. 
It's not even been a full year since the launch and recalls have become that frequent. After so much anticipation and delays, getting your truck recalled is the last thing you want. So what happened? Well, earlier this year, Tesla decided to recall about 2.2 million vehicles, and the Cybertruck was included in this recall. You guessed it right, the issue had to be pretty serious for such a great number of vehicles to be recalled. With the font size of the ABS brake and park indicators being too small, the company admitted that the vehicles were at an increased risk of collision, and who would want that? And then, just 20 days later, disappointed Cybertruck owners started complaining of rust and corrosion on the much-advertised, allegedly stainless steel body of the truck. For a vehicle that claims to be able to withstand outer-worldly conditions, this sure was very embarrassing for the company. And things then took a more dangerous turn when in the same month, multiple users started getting about 25 critical system errors, including loss of power steering and inability to apply the parking brake. As you would imagine, the customers were not just shocked, they were terrified of these error warnings. But what's more terrifying than that is that the truck can cause severe injuries or even amputations when you're not even driving it. Because of issues with the pinch sensors, users have to be extremely cautious while closing the front hood or even the doors because if you're not, according to some users, you might lose your fingers. And so tweet after tweet, video after video, Tesla's claims are tested and sometimes debunked. For example, during the unveiling ceremony, Franz von Holzhausen, the chief designer at Tesla, tried testing the virtually unbreakable windows. Unfortunately, the windows were smashed by a metal ball. Musk, like always, was quick to respond to the video. He claimed that the windows were only damaged because in a previous demonstration, the base of the glass was cracked by a sledgehammer. He still maintained the unbreakable claim. Fortunately, Tesla is always open to criticism and is quick to solve our issues with its products. And then in April of this year, when multiple users reported a problem with the accelerator pedal, leading to Tesla physically recalling all its Cybertrucks, thousands of Cybertruck drivers received a recall notice that stated, the accelerator pedal can become stuck, sending the truck accelerating beyond control, making it a danger to everyone on the road. But that was not all. On the 25th of June 2024, Tesla was forced to recall its Cybertrucks for the fourth time. The problem this time was announced by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. The trim pieces were reported to come loose and the front windshield wipers were failing. According to the Safety Administration, this issue already impacted over 11,000 trucks. And so, with so many issues, one thing is for sure, it's time for something better and safer to be launched. And according to some sources, the launch of an improved version may not be too far ahead in the future. So, as a Tesla fan, what can you expect of the new Cybertruck? Before we get into the possibilities of the future, let's look at some of the already announced Cybertruck versions. The single-motor rear-wheel drive, the dual-motor all-wheel drive, and the tri-motor all-wheel drive are together branded as the Cyber Beast. The name sure is cool and so is the range. Starting off with a rear-wheel drive model, it's expected to be available in 2025, with a range of 250 miles and a top speed of 112 miles per hour. It's priced at $60,990 US dollars. Then moving on to the dual-motor all-wheel drive, it was to be available in 2024 with a range of 340 miles and a top speed of 130 miles per hour. This version is definitely faster than the rear-wheel drive model. However, it's unsurprisingly priced at a whopping $79,990. Finally, talking about the tri-motor all-wheel drive, it was also to be made available in 2024. This version is the costliest of all at a huge $99,990 US dollars. Compared to the base prices of 2019, there's been a whopping 53 to 64% increase in the base payment of these models. Now, coming to the Cybertruck of the future, well, there's a lot of expectations. At first, many customers are seeking a newer, slightly less weird design. Frank Stevenson, who is a renowned automobile designer and has worked with big companies like BMW, Ford, and Ferrari, called the Cybertruck's design almost repulsive. However, much like everybody else, he also saw the potential in the design and believed that it could become extremely attractive if Tesla just softened the hard lines. In fact, people on the internet have already started sharing their expected versions of the Cybertruck 2.0. As you can probably imagine, these versions are sleeker and smoother than the first version. They look like a blend of conventional and futuristic cars. 
Maybe the market is just not ready yet for extremely futuristic-looking vehicles. It seems that Musk's view of the future is slightly different from the rest of us. So now, finally the moment you've all been waiting for, let us take a closer look at what the Cybertruck 2.0 may look like. Here we present the Cybertruck 2.0 concept by Dejan Hristov, an automotive designer. First things first, the second version needs to address and get right the things that the first one had issues with. Talking about that first design, according to multiple experts and critics, it was just too shocking. In fact, Musk himself highlighted a great difficulty with the design, extreme difficulty in building the design on a mass scale. So instead of focusing on a truck that's able to battle extreme and rare conditions like getting shot at, it should focus more on practicality and daily use because at the end of the end, if you cannot perform simple tasks with your vehicle and ensure basic safety, what good are the bulletproof and rugged features? Well, we cannot really expect Tesla to give up those features as well because they are what make Tesla Tesla. But what would make more people want the next big EV pickup truck is a less aggressive design focusing more on practicality than angles. And this is what the designer of the Cybertruck 2.0 concept has focused on. It's expected that the new version will retain the iconic Tesla aesthetics while also making the design visually more pleasing. It will probably do so by introducing mild curves and giving the vehicle a more seasoned look. The 2.0 design includes the original edge lines and LED strip headlights and tail lights, but when it comes to the body, the overly advertised stainless steel has gone. The alternative metal has to have the ability to be formed into curves and be embossed, giving it a fresh, elegant look. This could be achieved by either coming up with a new technology to bend the space-grade metal sheets or simply compromising using a higher-grade version of the metal that the rest are already using. Regardless, it seems like we are in for a massive change in the chassis of the truck. But what's even cooler about this design is that it includes a redesigned Cyberquad that fits in the bed of the truck. The quad is a sport bike with its shape and form but still manages to complement the truck. And apart from storing the Cyberquad, the back of the truck is perfect for camping. Just like the original, the storage bed is accompanied by its own shutter, but this time better, more durable, and practical than ever before. When you take a look at the back of the vehicle, instead of having a flat, inclined appearance, you find a more elevated look like the classic SUVs. The windscreen extends well into the back, providing a beautiful panoramic view from inside. And what's more is that you can choose your favorite option from a range of colors. This means everybody doesn't have to drive the same paintless Cybertruck 2.0, and it would be logical to assume that the available colors will match the colors of Tesla's other lineups. Imagine owning a red multi-coat or deep blue metallic Cybertruck. And now for the grand finale of this version, the design includes a very useful feature, a frunk. You may have seen the frunk in all the Tesla cars, but the same is not present in the Cybertruck. Well, this redesign fixes that. A frunk that opens like a drawer and does not pop upwards will give you enough storage space for those extra camping materials and other things. All in all, you are sure to experience a Cybertruck concept that blends innovative design with practical functionality and in doing so, appeals to a larger audience while also maintaining Tesla's signature features. Whether rumors or not one thing's for sure, people want change. As futuristic and cool as the first concept Cybertruck may have seemed in 2019, it's clear that people are looking for more subtle and refined aesthetics. It's hard to tell exactly what Tesla has in store for its fans with the Cybertruck 2.0, but one thing that's certain is that we're in for exciting updates and some more adventure.